time now for our political insiders, Tony May, Charlie Giroux, joining us. Guys, as always, thanks for being here. And today we start at the state capitol where things got a bit interesting, a bit tense, at a hearing over a move to impeach the attorney general. Take a look. Well, I apologize. We did have some sound to go with this, but uh, we can't bring it to you right now. What happened uh, was the, a, a Democrat made a move to just call off this hearing, and Daryl Metcalf, the Republican who wants to hold the hearing, um, basically quieted him down. Another Democrat went to speak, and he was thrown out, so the rest of the Democrats just left the hearing. And this is, again, all about Attorney General Kathleen Kane trying to get her impeached. What does this mean for her career, Charlie? Well, I think she's got some real serious issues now. I don't honestly think that this impeachment hearing is going to go anywhere. I doubt very seriously that she's going to be impeached. But it continues to raise very serious questions about her office and the handling of it. And the thing that we've seen is her polit... I am not even going to try that. Her making the office political. <laughs> uh, and I think that is a real concern for every Pennsylvanian because when the justice system and the political system merge in that way, it's bad for everybody. There are an awful lot of questions about how she has made political decisions about criminal cases. We're talking Tony. about the Philly Four and uh, the gay marriage. Tony, this was a person that before she even became attorney general, right before, there was talk of her being governor. Well, that's always a dangerous thing to see people put up on a pedestal because what, what, always, what always happens is that people discover that no matter who the person is that's in public office, they are mortal humans just like the rest of us. Now that aside, though, I think Charlie is absolutely correct. This has been politicized, and it means that no matter what she does in the future, it's going to meet similar resistance from the Republicans in the General Assembly, uh, and it's going to be, there's going to be some... Uh, tendency to hold back, I think, on her part in future activities because she's going to want to avoid getting beat over the head with whatever her decisions so are. We're at a time right now where we want the lawmakers to try to agree on some things, mm -hmm. and this is a prime example of partisan split. Well, well I'm not in favor of it, and I don't think Charlie is. What's that? I'm not in favor of the partisan split, and I don't think... No, I'm not right. either, and, you know, I think we're all looking for an opportunity to get beyond the bickering that goes on in Harrisburg, but there are some very legitimate questions about Kathleen Kane and her handling of the office, and they need to be fully discussed by the people of Pennsylvania. Those questions aren't coming from the Republican side of the aisle right now so much as they are from her fellow Democrats. Seth Williams, the district attorney of Philadelphia, most principal among them. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's move to Marcella Shale. Thousands gathered at the Capitol today uh, in uh, support of Pennsylvania's natural gas industry, saying, you know, over 200,000 jobs have been created because of this. And, and Charlie, you even commented earlier saying this was an incredible turnout. Yeah, Tony and I were talking off air about the size of this rally. You don't very often see rallies of this size in Harrisburg. A tremendous boost for Pennsylvania's natural gas industry and all the jobs that it's created, all the economic development that it's created, and yet there are still some that say we should either shut it down or tax it to death. This is a really incredible phenomenon for Pennsylvania, which has become one of the largest producers of energy in the world, and an opportunity not only for us to help our fellow citizens, but to help our economy for generations to come. Tony? Ditto. Jeez, he said what? it all. Y'all are agreeing <laughs> today. What's wrong no, with I you? I think, it, I, I think it was a bipartisan effort. It was. Uh, and it's labor as well as, as management people there. Uh, and the, the main thing that we have to recognize with Marcellus is that it's brought the, ca the cost of natural gas down. Mm. And, and as long as that's goes on, that's a good thing. All right. And I don't think the weather hurt the turn. No, the weather, I mean, Tom Russell finally got it right for us. And, and, and not only bipartisan, but a significant number yeah. of people from organized labor there today, a true cross-section of Pennsylvania in support of continuing Pennsylvania's development safely and responsibly of natural gas. All right, we'll end it there. You can see our political insiders, Tony May, Charlie Giroux, every Tuesday right here on CBS 21 News at 5.